And now, CCN, Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood starts right now. Hi everybody, I'm Richard Foley with Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood. I'm in Pasadena at Idea Lab with Andy Wilson, CEO and founder of Rexter, also co-chairman and co-founder of Innovate Pasadena. Hi Andy, can you tell us a little bit about Innovate Pasadena? Sure Richard, I'd be happy to. Innovate Pasadena is a not-for-profit community organization that's focused on entrepreneurship and risk-taking associated with pursuing new ventures. It is uh, founded by a group of tech CEOs in key um, institutions like Caltech, Art Center, and Pasadena City College. Now how about you tell us a little bit about Rexter? So Rexter is my software company here in Pasadena. And Rexter is about um, using the internet to help people manage their, their networks of who they know and engaging those networks to build relationships so that they can start collaborating around projects, ideas, really making things happen. So the social web has allowed people to access relationships in order to do things they couldn't do on their own. So we provide that technology through the software Rexter. And you can see how Rexter is about connecting people through software. And Innovate Pasadena is really about connecting people through programming, activities, and events so they can work on new projects together, start new companies, and, and do um, innovative and somewhat risky things. How about you tell us a little bit about Idea Lab? Sure. Um, well, here we are in Idea Lab. And um, at one point previous in my career, I was one of the founders and ran one of an Idea Lab company called Overture Services. Um, Overture Services ended up being sold to Yahoo for close to $2 billion. So one of the most successful opportunities or businesses out of Idea Lab. Idea Lab, I think at this point, has spun up well over 100 companies. And Bill Gross, who was the founder of Idea Lab, is really considered one of the real um, kind of four leaders or for forefront leaders in creating an incubator for new technology and new companies. So I think today in Idea Lab, there's probably 15 or 20 startups here working to get that early traction, take ideas, build businesses. So you're in a crucible of entrepreneurship here in Idea Lab. Okay. When did the concept of Innovate Pasadena begin? Um, actually, surprisingly, we really, I think, accomplished a lot um, in a year. It's just been a year since we started Innovate Pasadena. And um, people ask me about that aha, that light bulb moment. And that light bulb moment occurred when I was driving from Pasadena to Santa Monica for another tech meetup. And there's nothing like sitting on the 10 freeway to feel like there must be a, an opportunity to create an innovation community in our own neighborhood. So you don't have to go that long journey, which has gotten longer and longer, as we all know, to Santa Monica. So we're really looking at activating the community here locally to prevent us from having to drive cross country, cross town, to um, go to these technology meetups. It was so important to initiating collaboration that becomes a lifeblood of getting a new venture off the ground. I also hear there's some uh, coffee meetups on Fridays. Tell us a little bit about those. Well, um, any entrepreneur will tell you how important caffeine is to getting their business going. Um, and so coffee seemed like the right venue. And um, just as we were starting Innovate Pasadena, I said, well, what we really need is a bunch of uh, programs that appeal to people. And um, I got the first group of people together at my favorite coffee shop, Jones, here in Pasadena. And literally it was eight people, and that was just a year ago. And we meet every Friday um, at 8.15. So if you have kids to drop off at school, you can do that. And we have a speaker who talks about a relevant technology topic. And I'm happy to say we now end up with somewhere between 80 and 150 people every Friday showing up to meet other people and learn about technology innovation. So that little idea that started in a small coffee shop is now, a, I don't know, a mass of humanity all working together um, and learning new things. Nice. Are there any upcoming events you can tell us about? Um, absolutely. We're, we're all about events. As I mentioned, those are really the, the, the catalyst for people to, to get together and meet. Um, the Friday coffees happen regularly. We just had our Connect weekend, actually, um, a few weeks ago. Had close to 3,000 people show up for that. Um, we will do a Connect week in October. Um, so the Connect weekend was f uh, 15 events in um, three days, and we're going to do 50 events in five days in October. So people should go and check us out, um, innovatepasadena.org and they can sign up and get um, newsletters about what's going on. There's literally a thing happening um, every week. I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to visit with us today. My pleasure. For more information, you can visit InnovatePasadena.org. I'm Richard Foley, Pasadena, CCN.